Today is an exciting day because I'm building the kitchen table. Look at this. Wow. So that is. I'm not sure what is in English, but but it's in like glued stripes, um, blah, 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 pine wood that I um, painted with this kind of a. I'm not sure what it's called. Yeah, I should check this out before I start filming. But where's the stuff? Here's the stuff. This kind of a. Is there English? No, just Finnish, Swedish, and Estonia. Estonia, Estonia stuff. And there's gonna be the uh, the other pieces over there. It's gonna be the lid for the fridge. I also cut out the uh, maintenance maintenance hole here for the compressor that's gonna be over there. But now it's time to make the sink over there, cut, a, cut the hole for the sink and also the stove for there. And this is pretty exciting because, where's the... <laughs> this is gonna be my sink. This is used for catering stuff, you know, for food. And it's stainless steel because all the sinks that I looked up from the um, all the kind of uh, boat stores they are all like 100 euros 100 dollars the cheapest ones but this was like 15 dollars 15 bucks and I got a lid for that matching lid which is the same size and I got out yesterday cut out the uh, the handle thing that was over here and it matches the burner that's gonna come up from here so I think it's gonna be over there and the same size size matching kind of a surface for the uh, the stove is gonna be over there. This was like seven bucks or something. It was like fifty. And I got one extra for the toilet, the space toilet. It's over there. If I'm gonna put a sink over there. And that was like I don't know, eight bucks or something. So pretty damn cheap. And it's stainless. So yeah. Let's start cutting holes. Okay, haha, <laughs> I got the holes. They are not pretty, but there's a little border going around, so it's gonna cover all. Except maybe for this, I got little chips over there. This one also got chip, and then it's got cracked over here. Because it's pine, it's pretty soft, so it left a kind of mark there. And I'm not sure if they are aligned this way. Let's see. Well, let's put the uh, this one first. Oh, it's pretty nice. See if this fits. Oh, it does. Good. Yeah, I knew that there's gonna be alignment problem here when I do did the calculations. Good morning. So, uh, yeah, it's Sunday morning, and this week I uh, launched my boat. Yeah, I didn't film that all because uh, it was a big hassle, a lot of stuff happening, good and bad stuff. But here we are back on my harbor, and it's looking good. Yesterday we did a clean up for my girlfriend. She cleaned the boat. It's never been that white before. 
and uh, yeah, I've been doing the kitchen table. This came up pretty good. It's gonna be the uh, alcohol burner. I'm gonna get uh, into that later. I got the sink under there. It's drying. The uh, the fitting for the uh, draining pipe, which is over there. But today I'm finally doing the fridge. So today I hope I got all this ready for use. We got the mattresses almost ready at home. I need to put the backrest over there. There's a lot of stuff here. And I might be able to do the table also today. Yeah. So I'm cutting the foam to insulate this and uh, I'm not sure if this 30 millimeter thick a little bit over an inch is enough because people said you might do like 50 or 60 well I got this cheap this board and because in Finland because the temperature is is nothing like in the uh, Caribbean or the uh, Mediterranean area so it's not that hot so I think I can get by with little less insulation so I'm gonna put the board all over and if I got a little bit more if I can use a spare part I'm gonna put the double layer on the bottom and I'm also I guess I got this foam stuff left over I'm gonna put a one layer on here on each side so it's a little bit more than just this 30 millimeter board so it's gonna be like 40 well this is not as good as this but yeah it's something the fridge compartment is over there and under here you can see the compressor so yeah that's my new boat just kidding that's my neighbor but yeah let's get to it yeah in a couple minutes we're gonna see if my space fridge freezer works so it took me almost all yesterday to get this the lid yeah it's kind of uh, ugly but you know this is the old hinge from the uh, the cabinets that I got over there so I'm trying to use every stuff that I got also this is from the cabins so this I'm gonna uh, paint or put the same stuff that is the stain hardens thing that is over here so it's gonna be the same color but yeah and I use the uh, aluminum tape to make the sides okay I if this works I'm gonna put the plastic thing the uh, acrylic thing around here to make it watertight now it's just like this but let's test it first so I got the meter over here and it says 25 about 25 now and yeah it's pretty yeah I have to clean this also and I'm gonna cover this because I cut off the old lid and that kind of stuff I'm gonna have to make a good cover over there so yep the compressor is under here so I'm just connecting the two wires that uh, regulate the uh, RPM of the um, the pump, the compressor, and when you connect that, it's gonna go with uh, 2,000 RPM, which is the minimum speed. So this test is gonna be the because the maximum RPM is 3,500, 3,500, like they say in US. Um, so this is gonna be the low speed test. I'm gonna build some kind of a computer 
to to yeah to regulate the temperature later on but now let's test it if it works if it even works because if it can cool this down yeah there's no point doing the computer stuff but yeah I should got the wires all connected there that's a mess I know so let's see if it runs so it's 25 24 about let's see the temperature I'm working in Celsius so if you're not 25 about there 24 yeah yeah so there was a the sound let's put a timer on stopwatch so now it's on let's close the lid it's a little bit stiff but it should seal it so let's wait like 30 minutes and then check how it is hola yeah, it's now been 30 minutes about, 34, my guess is that the temperature inside is only like 20 or something, because that's the minimum speed of the compressor, minimum power, yeah, that is only one amp. You see this my consumption. 0 0.9, 1 1.1 1 .1 at some point. I don't have any other stuff running here, so the consumption is all about that. It's really quiet. But because the starting temperature was pretty high, I don't think it's that cool yet. Let's see. Ta -da. Oh, it's 19. That's cooler than I thought. Still not... Oh, it's minus 18 over there, so... It's really cold. Yep, there's frost over there. Can you see it? That is frost over here, so... It's running pretty... Damn... Good. So it's effective, but it's a really big space. So let's keep it for a while. Let's wait another 30 minutes, then see how the temperature is. Hi, and welcome back. It's been uh, two hours, and let's check out how the fridge works. In the meanwhile, I did this. This is pretty cool. Well, these are not attached yet, but I'm gonna glue them on. This opens the the kind of lid that closes. It shuts down the flame. Also, you're gonna adjust how much flame is coming out with this. Not sure where I found this knob. It was in. Uh, some lamp I found in the trash. Cut it out. It's I think it's here. Yeah, stainless steel. So. And I made this cut over here. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I should clean this, but yeah. That is on. I put the tap here, and I connect the wires and the. Uh, the hose for this. Next, I have to put the hose on there. Yeah, let's check out the fridge. So it's been two hours now. Yep, a little bit over two hours. It's have to be fast. Oh yeah, it's now 12 degrees Celsius, and. That's the top, so that's the warmest point. Let's see. Oh, it's eight. It's about four on that side, two, zero, 
and there is minus 22 cell seals inside but that's where the uh, evaporator is on the side yeah but that's it's 14 20 now it's getting warmer I think good morning folks it's around 7 a.m. I think I got here before 6 I took a day off from my work to get this boat a little bit more ready for tomorrow and for for the next weekend tomorrow is Friday oh. we're gonna go and take a sailing trip with my with my boys so it's gonna be a yeah fun trip some beer some uh, maybe some fishing I'm not sure usually we don't fish but I don't know, we might. And uh, yeah, just hanging around and yeah, having a good time. Yeah, yeah. I'll be really lazy with the filming the stuff for you guys, but yeah. I'm I've been pretty busy at working here, so yeah, making long hours and yeah. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, stuff that I've done here so far. So the table is here. That is a, a little more than inch thick, really heavy. I'm not sure what that is. I found that on the basement. Well, yeah, it might be some kind of a nut tree or a acacia because it's really, really hard and uh, yeah, heavy. So I put the one coat of that tinted thing that I used to paint these the fridge things. So it came pretty close I think. Pretty much the same color here. So yeah. Now I'm working on the uh how I'm gonna attach it here. Because the thing is I have to make it really sturdy because the the table is heavy and I don't like unstable tables and also it has to be really easily to removed and to put in here so that there's a bed over here so that's the challenge it's easy to make a sturdy really tight uh, attachment for the table but usually that's not easily removed and it has to be removed without tools and you can make a you know attachment where, where that is easy to remove but usually it's not sturdy enough so this is my idea and this blade is gonna go at the end of this I made it a little bit shorter because it's it's a little bit easier to remove and then these two there's another one they're gonna go like this in here and then the table is gonna slide into it like that and it should be pretty sturdy because I'm more worried about the movement that is like this so if you're the end, end of the table and the end of the table moves like sideways because it's heavy and I'm gonna make the one stand for here one leg is it leg or stand I'm not sure. one over around here and that's just gonna support the weight down because yeah, it's, it, it's it's not gonna stable it sideways, and I cannot put two legs because this is a you know tight enough space to s sneak into it and put your legs under it. So it's, if there's two legs, it's yeah, it's not gonna be good. So that's the plan here. What else have I done? Well, small stuff, 
Yeah, painting like this. Whoa. Almost. Painting these straps over here. That. That's just T coil. Also, paint those. What else? Well, I glued this on. And that is on over here. That's the old one. Just pour it a little bit here. Uh, the fridge has a cool connection over here and I used that just the pine stuff but I painted with that color so it matches hi there again welcome back it's been quite a while since the last time I filmed something in here in my boat been working a lot of different stuff in here but today I want to share you the kind of a finalization of the fridge freezer combination here. So it's been working okay. Uh, it's been like two weeks now in working order, and I'm now ready to finalize it. Well, not from the uh, electric side because I need to do the uh, thermostat and, and uh, the display and put one more um, temperature sensor inside but I wanna make this waterproof and also yeah finalize the, the inside of the fridge uh, yeah I found a couple of uh, problems with this First thing being uh, condensation uh, frozen, frozen over here. So there was a little bit of ice over here. And to use this kind of acrylic plastic plexiglass, I'm not sure which one is it, but I got a big sheet of that left over from last summer. So I'm gonna use that to well make it like plastic and then seal the stuff inside but to seal that from uh, or insulate that so it doesn't form any ice over there and the compressor over here I found now it's off I melted it yesterday it's also up, I'm not sure if you can see it yep it's over there you can see it where the black insulation tube over there there's a little bit of copper tube over there exposed and that forms a big chunk of ice on top of that and yeah that's melting and it's melting down it might go under the under the floor so that's not good so I have to insulate that also it's pretty tricky because it's over there and I can't move this because this one is built over it and yeah so the solution is to put some well, polyurethane foam this is Sika Boom, the brand so I'm gonna use this expanding foam so I can put it over there and make a big big ball of foam on top of the copper pipe over there Okay, I got the foam there. It was pretty messy. It should be okay. No. Let's let it cure. And over there, I put some tape behind that so it doesn't spread everywhere. Yeah. So let's wait for it to cure. Then cut the uh, excess off and start cutting the sheets, the plastic acrylic sheets. Never know what to call them. Yeah, it's the next day. Uh, the foam didn't didn't cure that fast that I supposed to so uh, I had to do uh, some other things and then I have to 
run to some other place to do stuff, so I left it here now it's now it's hard and ready to be cut. A bit, I put a little bit too much over there. And under here whoop, Yeah, there's a the ball is I think yeah. I think I made it a little bit too big ball. Okay, so my first idea was to bend it inside the freezer fridge thing, but it's, it's I cut it a little bit too long so it doesn't come too short and it doesn't bend greatly inside. So um, I made this. So the idea is to use my heat gun. Blow it over here, and then with this, bend it. Not sure how it's gonna work. Let's see. Okay. Took like an hour to do this, but here it is. Here's my battery on there. To give some weight, then I made this kind of a platform to bend it but let's see I'm not sure if it's gonna fit or not okay here we go this is exciting did I did I mess it or not yeah, well this first bend over here it's not perfect I just made it because I might put the LED strip it's gonna be up there oh you can see Let's see if it fits. Well, yeah. It's pretty tight, but I think that's good. Well, that's a little bit off. Well, not that much. It's pretty good, I think. So bendy, bend it in different shapes. I think I need to bend the first one a little bit more. Yeah, so it's gonna make a little, kind of like a angle over here. So I'm gonna put the LEDs behind this so that they bounce the light from the from the aluminum thing over there. And after that, I'm gonna paint that in white. But it seems pretty good. We're almost there. There are the pieces that I need for the sides. And I need to cut a hole in here. But first I'm gonna test fit the pieces for the sides. So there's gonna be one piece over here. It's gonna be the same that is cut over here from this seat. And uh, yeah. It's gonna be a wall over there. Whoop. So let's see. Okay, so the pieces they fit quite nicely, not perfect. I need to cut some corners, round them up, and then it might be okay. Okay, YouTube people, welcome back. This is how my table looks today. Because today we are gonna, well, not finish the fridge, but almost finish. Test the, uh, the new computer here, which is gonna uh, regulate the uh, temperature and the fan and the lights that are inside. But yeah, let's get first out of this thing. It might look like that I'm having a hangover or something, but it's. It's not that I got this bad eye infection for for a week or something and today is the the best day so far so that I can open my eyes they are not closed like they were really really swallowed but yeah that's out of the way let's let's see what I'm doing now so 
here I showed you the uh, temperature um, temperature sensor that's gonna go inside the fridge I got one over there on the uh, well, I'm not sure. on the uh, freezer but I'm not sure what kind of uh, sensor that is so even though I got the wires coming here I'm not able to, to read the data that's coming out so if someday I can figure that out I'm, I can attach it to the board and get the temperature reading also from the freezer but now I'm good with the fridge temperature reader over here so I did this kind of a wire connects to fan yeah I'm putting a small fan inside the fridge I'm gonna show you where it's gonna go now the inside is about ready I made some different walls and I made this which came out pretty cute just use a hot glue and yeah so this is gonna come here so I can utilize more of the space put stuff in here and the wall keep stuff in here that's for the uh, cans the beer and the the soda they're gonna come here and uh, you can see the hole over there the fan is gonna come there so it's gonna suck the cold air from the fridge here to here so it can circulate a little bit better I hope I'm not sure how it's gonna work but yeah this is already cold I just put it on and yeah I got a massive problem with the uh, concentration 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 because the the tube the pipe tube it had some insulation on it but it wasn't enough and it wasn't tight so it concentrated a lot of water from the air yeah and it all poured down here and went under the floor so that's not good when you have a wood floor and this is not accessible over here so yeah so what I did uh, you could probably see that I put a lot of foam in here that the um, polyurethane foam well, maybe a little bit too much but the space was so tight but over here it's kind of like this angle over here and I scratch that so it's kind of a recorded not clear you know kind of frosted so it should give a little bit um, a little bit softer light inside this is the wire for the uh, LED strip that is over there so yeah that's the plan so what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna put tin on these wires over here and there you can see I've attached this kind of a plug that is easy to put on the uh, the board and yeah so a little bit tin over here so it makes it hard so it's easy to plug in the uh, board so first I'm gonna put some flux okay so after a little bit of uh, troubleshooting and testing Finally got it work. Pretty good. But I have to calibrate the um the temperature sensor because it seems it's like two degrees Celsius off. And yeah. And also uh, adjust the um well program the um the different uh power modes a little bit yeah. Just to have to do it again. Also made the switch those two wires coming from there so now when I open it 
the light goes on and the fan stops so it doesn't blow the cold air up and as you can see well yeah oh there's the switch so when I press it the fan starts and the lights goes light goes off I release it just like this so yeah and how do I know that the light goes off? Well, I made that kind of an asterisk, asterisk star in the middle of the... When I close it down, it shuts down and the fan starts. So if there's something wrong with the switch, I can see from the display if the light is on. Okay, welcome back. Yeah, it's the next day and... Uh, well, I had to do the, yeah, I'm doing the fritz today, the control board of that, and uh, yeah, I had to do it like three times to get it right. I, I think I burned one of the um, Arduino micro boards with some bad connections. I tried to do a Galago custom circuit board, but uh, yeah, I did something wrong, so I went and bought this kind of a board over here this is in top of the uh, Arduino Uno which is under there and I did the uh, stuff in here as you can see should be simple but well it's not there's like four transistors over here a lot of um, resistors over there and wires and jumpers going up and down there's the uh, the display 